Hi, it's Phil from Delphi Technologies. In today's how-to video, we're gonna be replacing the track rod end on this Audi A3 e-tron. First step, let's get the wheel off. So the first step is just to clean off the threads, just so we can free it up and we're nice and clean. So now just gonna loosen off the track rod end lock nut. Good, I can spin that back now. So we'll just remove the uh, trap rod end lock nut from the ball joint. So once you've split the joint here using the appropriate ball joint splitter, we're going to actually twist off counting how many turns the trap rod end uh, comes off with. You do find that it's stiff or it's stuck with the rust on the thread, then it's quite common to have to use an induction heater um, to be able to loosen the metal and, and enable us to remove it. One, two, three, 17. 18, 18 and a half threads. And there's the old part. So now we're gonna take the new Delphi Technologies track rod end out, and we're just gonna compare it to the new part. So we just do a quick comparison with the parts. Look absolutely fine, all good. So we're now gonna screw the track rod end back into the track rod, remembering 18 and a half turns. We've left the nut on just to prevent any damage to the thread here whilst we're refitting. So we're gonna count it back on, one, two, three, 18 and a half. So now we're ready to remove the nut and reinsert the ball joint back into the hub. Finally, we can screw the nut back onto the thread and then we're gonna tighten that down to pull the ball joint in. So when we're tightening up, we're gonna first tighten up with the ratchet and socket rather than use an impact gun because we don't wanna cause any damage. As we're tightening this up here, if we find that it just spins round and round and round, we're gonna to have to apply some tension on there. There's two ways of doing it. We can either put pressure onto the top, or alternatively, there is a small Allen key in the center, which you can hold still while you do that up. So let's do it up, and let's see if it catches and pulls it into the thread. So this one is actually spinning, so the thread is just spinning round and round and it won't catch on the tapered thread. So what we'll do is we'll hold the centre with the Allen key and just get it to catch and tighten um, using a spanner. Finally, we need to check the torque figures and set this to the correct torque. We've checked the technical data and it's 20 newton metres and then 90 degrees. I've set the torque range correctly. and then just finally now do the 90 degrees. So now the nut is torqued and tight. We've set the torque and the angle. Last step is just to tighten up the lock nut on the track rod. So the last thing really is to do is, once the wheel's gone on, is just to double check the tracking and wheel alignment just to make sure we, uh, we haven't disturbed anything. Appreciate you watching and be sure to follow us on social media.